This is a podcast about just opinions. Hey, yo, this is what it is. This is what I think. We all have kind of outlandish takes. Like, don't at me. If there's other free form stuff that comes with it, we cover that too. Hey, hold on real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Pause. Don't at me. Hello. The first one of 2020. Roaring 20s. Back in the Allen Stew gang, back in the stew. Of yeah, course, yeah, we yeah. got a chance. Yeah. Yours hey, truly, Mike. The first, right? Well, we're recording Second. on the first. The this first. Is, this is the first, the first day of 2020, January. Oh, 1st. shit. Yeah, that's right. First that's impressions. Right. Yeah, so far, so good. Yeah. Kind of weird already it's for me. Gloomy. It is gloomy. I hate the overcast. That came in out of Sometimes nowhere. Sometimes I like overcast days because it makes me feel okay about not being out doing shit. I feel you. Like, there's no expectation. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Like, it's like, like, hey, why aren't you out and about? It's like, oh, I'm man, not it's, like, man, you're it's hazy yourself. out. It's sunny outside. Yeah. I do yeah, feel yeah. you. Like, those days where it's really sunny, I love it. But I feel like kind of obligated. Like, man, I got to right. be outside. <laughs> so if I have, like, a lot of errands I got to run that day, I feel like shit. Whereas if it's overcast, I'm like, well, I'm not mm. missing anything. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, New Year's, I had a good night. You know, we bounced around a couple parties, had some fun Uber rides. I felt like every drive was like an hour long drive, even though it wasn't. Yo, but, uh, it was a late night. It was fun. I had a good night. I had yeah. the best night. I went to several oh, gatherings, shit. and I had the best Lyft drivers. Uh, <laughs> three of the coolest dudes you will meet. Literally, one of the guys' names in Lyft was Big Poppy. Uh, another guy's name was Clauderick. Clauderick looks like a guy that you'd sign on Madden. He's like 74 overall, but his speed is like 95. And you're like, I'm going to get this dude to be 80 overall. Clauderick. I was definitely drunk, so I was tipping everybody like $15. <laughs> I didn't Damn. realize this till today. <laughs> Me and this one dude, he drank some of my beers while he was driving the lift. Oh, shit. It was like that. What was his name? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, out, I won't name that him. one. He was not one of the other two I just named. You know something I wish, Chance, you could speak about this since you did Uber driving for a while? Yeah. One thing I'd love to do is do Uber for like a week and just do like taxi cab confessional. <laughs> oh, like it'll but be But you like tell that. them shit? It would be funny just to yeah. start telling them shit. <laughs> like real deep personal stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. man, my parents. Yo, that you know? would be cheaper than therapy, man. Like, nah, you could just bro. fucking... <laughs> Like oh you need to ride to the airport perfect you wouldn't understand that shit like it it felt so good bro like cause like random people they'll just start like telling you shit bro like it used to I I got some weird stories I really want to tell them on here bro (laughs) but like Uber's like wow bro like and like you'll be like you just sitting there driving like you be normal ass person just sitting there just driving like people just like start telling you all kinds of crazy (laughs) shit like. To, like, because of where they're going, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, do they always they feel like obligated to like shit? tell you what their business is? Do you have to yeah, open up or what? Kinda, like, no, you don't have to open up, but like, people like you can kind of like get them to open up by like kind of telling, like, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah, going yeah. along with it, you right, know what yeah. I mean? Like, <laughs> you know how we used to do improv and shit, like, yeah. You know, like, I mean, it's just like I don't know. It, it's fun as fuck, bro. That was like my the best job, bro. I swear. How, to God. So, how personal like would it get sometimes? It, it depends. Like, I, I mean, it depends on the person, like the the writer or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, right. But do you have any examples of like, man, I can't believe they said that shit. Um. Nah, I can't. Not off the top of my head. Like, not right now. He doesn't want to drop them on the air and put people on blast. Yeah, I mean, like... How many times do you have people get in the nameless? (laughs) How many times do you have people get in and say shit? Because that would be me. Oh, like, plenty. That'd be me. I didn't say, like, shit to them, like, either. If I'm in a group, I'm, like, cool with opening up and having a large combo. If I'm by myself, like, it's not that I can't carry a conversation, but I'm like... Yeah. I'm never gonna see you again. Yeah, <laughs> like why? Yeah, but that's kind of like for what's a group, fun about it, though. Like, true. Because like I don't know. You'll... I guess if you're looking for like a judgment-free, <laughs> like quick, hey, what's your analysis on this? But again, it's kind of like you're imposing your problems onto them. <laughs> you probably have like a low star rating, but um, I like if it's like a group, I'm cool with getting like talking to the driver, getting everybody in there laughing, kind of setting the crowd, you know, setting the vibe. Yeah. If I'm by myself, I'm probably going to do something low energy or introverted anyway. So I'm, like, I'm right. just going to chill. I might have my headphones on just listening to music, you know. But, yeah. but like, I did, like, mostly talk to, I would say, 
ninety-five percent of my customers. Really? Uh, like the writers or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like you're cool dude to talk be, to. Something because sense. like, well, I mean, most like it's cool. Like just like Taxi Cab. I used to watch that shit. Taxi Cab Confessions. Yeah. Like uh, back in the day. And like that show was tight to me, you know what I'm saying? So I was right. like, "Yo, this is like the same thing," you know what I mean? Like, because people like you know, like you just talk to them about like you, as long as you say like, "Hey, how you doing?" Like they'll like get into right. shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They like, want to, yeah. They will like, and they will like couples and everything. Like I, I'll tell you this: like a couple invited me to their house. It, like it was weird. It's like a middle aged right. white couple. No. Yeah. <laughs> What'd y'all do? <laughs> like really, like nothing. I won't. I won't say like. I mean, it wasn't like nothing like that, indecent proposal. It was like Robert <laughs> like Redford was there. Shit. <laughs> they, they weren't into like some. Nah, they or weren't some into shit. that shit. <laughs> nah, like, but like uh, other shit, <laughs> they weren't into cooking. <laughs> like I say yeah, it, it didn't get that wrong. I had a uh, I had a dude a driver uh, last week. It was like late at night on like a Thursday. And uh, he had he was like a, a some kind of Eastern European dude, and he had uh, just moved here. I don't know. He was like he had like a Mercedes A class, like the the cheapest Benz you can get. Yeah. Uh, which is fine. I mean, good cars for whatever. Like I don't care. But like mm-hmm. he kept going. Like he's like, yo, I'll put it in sport, man. Like it take off real fast. <laughs> <laughs> he was like all proud of it and shit and like he would like floor it as a green light I was like yeah man show me what it's got like does it have some juice and he was like yeah dog for real and he had this accent though it was, it was funny as fuck like uh and uh man like he just yeah he was just driving like super recklessly and he's like you see it's got like performance man like it's yeah. got it's, and I was like yeah man tight tight it's like, like a Ford Focus it or really something. didn't though like I was <laughs> just trying to I was like you know he like brought like that shit up. up like he needed affirmation yeah. and so I was like all right, man. Like, I don't want to, you know, I just want to get home. So I'm going to like, make like, you feel good about this right now. Like, zero to 60, 7.4 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Like, like oh. literally, like, it was like cars were passing us. And he was like, floor is just loud. Yeah, like, I remember <laughs> one of the dopest rides I, I had, though, was I picked up this lady from, like, the medical center somewhere. And, like, she needs to get to the fucking airport. Like, Bush. Like, Intercontinental or whatever. And she had, like, 45 minutes before she had to get to her gate. And I was yeah. like, it was like... 4.30 or some shit like that. that I was like, fun. lady, you are not going to make it. But, like, thank God, for some reason, the 45, like, ramp and shit, yeah. like, was open. And that was the way I went. I yeah. was like, fuck, I'm, I missed, like, 59. But, like, really, I was going that way anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, thank God that shit was, like, open. I, like, got there literally in, like, 30 minutes, bro. That you shit know, was wild. I was, I was, like, on it. Don't you love when, like, a detour actually works in your favor? Like, I had a party, a Christmas party, like, you know, two, three weeks ago. And uh, I think it was supposed to be, we were supposed to go up by, like, you know, like, north, like, north, you know, like, Post Oak, like, North Post Oak, kind of, so, like, 290. It's all a mess right there. But I missed my turn coming from 59 from Sugar Land, and they made me, you know, exit and then U-turn and come back around. But when I did that and got back on 610... I bat, uh, I bypassed an accident that would have happened like right where oh, we were. Um, I don't know when it occurred, but that certainly would have caused the delay because of mm-hmm. traffic. So I'm like, hey, that shit actually kind of worked out, you know? Because yeah. usually you make the wrong exit in Houston, it's like, dude, kill me. <laughs> that go- there's 20 more minutes. Oops. Yeah. I mean, shit. shit. How many times have we been on the road to go record the mobile stew, and then we make the wrong exit? And I'm like, well, shit. All right, well, we'll start in 20 minutes late. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Can we talk about why you were late today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> new year, new me. Nah. <laughs> so how'd y'all wake up this morning? Headaches? <laughs> Oof. How'd you? Oof. It was rough. <laughs> uh, you woke up pretty early though. You were up like eight. That happens a lot, man. When I drink, I just wake up and need to sleep more, but I can't. Yeah. It's kind of you said like Giorgio, like when we were younger. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be like the loudest one up, 3.30, drinking, and then he'll be the obnoxious one up at 7.30, waking everybody up. I'm like, how does he have so much energy, so much stamina? He's like, no hangover at all. I think he just stayed drunk for like 25 (laughs) years, man. He just kept like a nice, cool... But he never got sloppy because he had a great tolerance. (laughs) Just like 
operating with that all at His all times. His face is like hella red at all times. <laughs> <laughs> just a red face. Definitely not an alcoholic, but you know. Nah, uh, nah. <laughs> nah. How was y'all's New Year's though? Uh, had a great recap. time, man. That was good. Um, the whippets. I, Uber drives on uh, on New Year's. Like they always upcharge any new any occasion. It's always like an upcharge. Uh-huh. Hate that shit. Yeah. Like but like, and shit. huh? The, the surge. Yeah, surge. Yeah. Like, oh well, typically this will be five dollars, but tonight seventy six. Like, what? Yeah. That's exaggeration, but not all the time. Sometimes that's accurate. Yeah. I like sure. Lyft more than Uber. For real? I just feel like it's... So, uh, back in the day, Lyft was the first one you could tip on. Ubers didn't give you an option to tip, like, in 2012 or some shit. Uh-huh. Which, you know, seems crazy now, but Lyft was the first one you could tip on. And so, that's why I felt inclined to start using it, and I did use it a lot. Yeah. And I only have... Uber because sometimes you lift isn't around. So. <laughs> it is one of those things. Yeah, it is one of those things like yeah. Uber Lyft, what's the difference? Really it's just like Uber is more used, but really it's like what is the difference? There really isn't much of a difference at all. Using yeah. one versus the other one, other than okay, in this area, are there more of a tendency to have Uber drivers or Lyft? And like you said, the only time you would is like, oh well shit, there's really uh, no man, Lyft I available. Feel like Lyft I compare the prices. Oh, yeah, yeah, between them. Sometimes yeah, you know they're typically like, around the same though. A I'd lot say. of times yeah. it's the same people too. They're driving for yeah. both. Yeah, like, I like Flip how one Lyft light on. has the pink thing in the windshield or whatever, so you can like see it and know it. Like Uber, sometimes they yeah. won't even have an insignia. They <laughs> just like yeah. pull up and be like, "You remember that time that we got in the wrong yeah. car yeah. outside a dirt bar after a Rockets game? Damn, we just got be in some to do that shit. Like, <laughs> well, I was do that shit. Alan got the Uber. This guy pulls up and he's looking at us and we're talking. And Alan just starts walking towards and I'm like. I guess this is it. Yeah. And he's Last got like, like taxi like insignia yeah, and all that yeah. shit. And like so we get in and then the like a minute or two later we're driving down and Alan gets a call and it's like, Hey, I'm here, it's your Uber driver. Yeah. And he's like, Nah, we're in you right now. <laughs> and he's like, No, so he just hangs up. And the guy's like <laughs> He called me back. <laughs> he's like, Yeah, he caught you just didn't answer. And the guy driving, you were like, So and he's just like, Oh yeah, just give me like twenty bucks, it's cool. Like he was just posting up, like stealing people's just Uber stealing drives, people's Uber, what? twenty bucks cash. But the weird yeah. thing is, he didn't really ask for anything. He, he was didn't just really like, "Now nah, we're, we're going. good, it's I don't good." Know how we knew that. <laughs> yeah, we just like went there, and then yeah. he was like, "All right," and you're like, "You want twenty bucks?" Like, yeah, all right, cool. Like he like kind of finessed his way into figuring out where we were going or something. And he was like, "I mean, it was actually like, like pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually yeah. pretty impressive." What the fuck? Who is this nigga, man? Yo, I mean, taxi he needs dudes, a car. they've been hurt by the ride-sharing game, so they're fighting back, man. Like, I shit. almost feel like he was just a sleeper cell trying to, like, disrupt the <laughs> Lyft and Uber market. <laughs> but Houston, I feel like uh, Houston Uber drivers probably aren't all as, like, bitchy or, like, snotty as, like, the major touristy cities. Yeah. Like, I feel like... In fact, I know that f- I, I know from experience w- when uh, we were in Nashville two years ago, 2018, I was drinking coffee and he was like, oh, yeah, no drinks. I'm like, dude, it's, <laughs> it's like 8 a.m. I'm like, I'm drinking a coffee. No like, <laughs> OK, let me let me chug this scalding coffee. Yeah. Like way less tolerant, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then in, like when we were in Denver. They were like, oh, you got to get in the bigger Uber, you know. Like, yeah, you this nigga made us. Fucking recall. I mean, like re, like you know. It was him too. Yeah, it was him too. He was like, nah, you like cancel this one and like do it again, but like do it like Uber XL. (laughs) He's like, like, hey, look, let me get more money. Pick it up. And we're like, what the fuck? We have quite a large crew for like. Yeah, we did have six people. We should just walk though. (laughs) We walked most places. I mean, there were some that we Ubered like maybe a couple miles away, but most of it was. I generally like. Was not impressed with the city of Denver. Uh, you, I liked Colorado. Like, I like Colorado. I like the, I liked the, and the, the like nature the and the terrain. scenery, but the city itself, it was like, it was like, I don't know, like it felt it very was towny. Like everybody had just every, everybody I met was like, oh no, I just moved here. Like oh, we just moved here. It felt like Austin, but like yeah, yeah. not even like even just more like white and like <laughs> basic, like yeah. with like less. Of the actual like cool sophisticated shit. Well, you know it's weird. I feel like 
so Houston's a big melting pot, right? I love Houston. And we man. talk about how Houston, like I just said, it's more of like people don't come and do touristy shit here. They come and experience Houston. Yeah. You know, because more of like Cause a feel. No it's like a vibe. Shit to do here. Right, yeah, yeah, there's really not. Are you going to go to fucking NASA? <laughs> but Houston's <laughs> a big shit. melting pot. Now you have places like Denver and places like Nashville, like yeah. the millennial cities, I'll say, where like all these people are just going over there in droves. Shit, even Seattle. To where I think that might eventually have just such a melting pot feel. You'll have some of the original, at least like Seattle, you'll still have like a lot of the Asian influence. Maybe like sushi places. We well, but no, all Houston's cool because like we have an economy that like necessitates like people come here because they have to. And so like all types of people have to come here because like they need a job or yeah. right. this was like where they had to end up or whatever. Right. And like so it, it, it became. I feel like it, you know, it was able to have that crazy diversity from all types of places. It wasn't just people. I saw some shit online that made me laugh. They were talking about like these people that constantly move, like let's go, Austin, Nashville, Portland, Detroit. We're just like they're like they're like you've heard of, like serial monogamists. They're like serial gentrifiers. What? And like. They like feel like no city's unique enough for them, but it's really because they're not unique. Yeah, and like serial you know I mean? gentrifier. So they feel like they need to go like fucking. I'm gonna move to Asheville. <laughs> yeah. to, Asheville. Like, Anything that's on like one of those like, article lists. South Carolina, because you know Charleston's like a real place. Des Moines. <laughs> like, yeah. Des Moines. Yeah. Just Boise. Like, weird shit like that. <laughs> like, Boise for sure. That's like the one of the trendy places. For real. Yeah. I, uh, Idaho. Yo, Idaho? Idaho yeah. is beautiful, man. We should put Idaho on blast, and they're gonna get full because it's dope. I would live there. For real. Yeah, man. That's right here. I'm going to Utah. Yeah, what? This fun. month. Nice. Gonna go to Sundance. I bet you that shit that's is tight. nice though. That would be cool. Park City. <laughs> we'll be in Salt Lake. Salt Lake's another one of those growing cities. I think it actually was the fastest growing city last year. I could be mistaken. Salt Lake City? Salt Lake City. Not a fan of that city. <laughs> Alan's no. like, the Mormons? <laughs> Not for me. Why the fuck is the Utah Jazz still the yeah. Utah Jazz? Yeah, talk about worst fan base I guess you keep probably name. all of sports. Utah Jazz. Like. Y'all both have heat for Utah. Like You, you yeah, put it on the docket like, before. Alan, you brought it up before. Everybody's probably named like fucking Braden or some shit. Like. Braden. <laughs> Chester. <laughs> Last name, first name's Galore. <laughs> this is Gunner. <laughs> Braxton. <laughs> this is my son Gunner and his brother Chester and Ryder. <laughs> Hunter. 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 I'll let y'all know. I mean, like from the looks of it, it's going to be badass being outside. It's going to look know. like what I looked Palmer, at. It looked like The Shining. I feel like it would just like, only be cool to like drive around. You know what I'm saying? Like You just got to keep going. <laughs> just keep, just keep stop. going. He's like, it's a great place to drive directly past. <laughs> you don't even go through it. You take yeah. like half of its loop. <laughs> All right. We're good. Yeah. I feel like that's how I always am with Dallas. Like, I feel like I yeah, never go to Dallas like, proper. I always go, like, around Dallas. Me too. Like, I swear, when I went to Dallas, like, I never, I barely saw, like, the skyline. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. Because, I don't know, all, all my uh, aunt stays in, uh, like, I'm, like, Redbird. So, it's, like, ways, like, South Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's pretty far. So I, I like, really haven't, like, done Dallas. I've only I did a few years ago. It's, it was actually pretty fun. I've been to like the but what is like, the the what's that uh, the blonde that popular Deep Ellum? I've been to like Deep Ellum, like I've done that vibe. That's before. supposed to be their like fucking Montrose RT maybe or something. Or some shit, I don't know. I mean, it was cool. Like they had a good brewery. Know, like, what the fuck I did? I just knew I was in Dallas. I only went to uh, Dallas like, once, and it was during Hurricane or some Ike or some shit. In <laughs> some Ike. Eight. I don't know. Hey, was that? We, we evacuated me and Oh yeah that was running the then. Time and uh-huh. There was nowhere to go So we went to her friends And the, the girls dorm at SMU And just crashed there for a night And then bounced That's out. Fort Worth so, right? Isn't, I don't fucking know so That's what I'm saying I don't know Fort Worth is a different vibe too like a campus Fort Worth has like a lot of like The know. country-ish feel Like not everywhere But like 
it will have more like they have the stockyards. That's pretty <laughs> yeah. fun. The stockyards? Stockyard. Yeah. It looks like an old Wild <laughs> West. Like, it has, like, a Wild West look to it. They have just, like... Trains and shit. <laughs> nah, it's like a, like a district, like an area to so go like out. Shit from Red Dead Redemption. It looks like that. For real? Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cool. That's what I'm saying. Like, good... Uh, That's crazy. They have more of those, like, watering holes. Like, it has, like, that feel to it, you Saloons. know? Saloon. <laughs> People come in there, and, like, everything gets oh, quiet. You hear his boots stomping on the ground. <laughs> Let me get the hey, usual Sally. Dope, Spit love. into a can. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it is kind of an interesting vibe. The uh, Austin vibe, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's not... We're you not know, telling anybody yeah. anything they don't know. I mean, people have been on Austin yeah, for like a yeah. long fucking time now. But it is kind of like... How would you even... It, is it even its own land? vibe yeah. now? Or like, is it just like Austin, so many people? Austin places. brought Juice Land into my life. And I love Juice Land. Out of all Millennial places, shit. Even in, like in Texas, the only other place I really had more fun I know is what you're gonna El say. Paso. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> El Paso is the best city in Texas like outside of Houston. I feel like y'all had a El Paso, though. Huh? Like, well, like, yeah. All connections. <laughs> like, like, that shit is just tight. I don't know. Remember, we stayed like 10 days. We were supposed to stay like... <laughs> it it was cool because it felt like uh and you you've been there too alan but like everything's yeah. like a couple years behind yeah so like they'd be like oh shit <laughs> like that's cool as shit and it's like already so many years later <laughs> like to your thing you said you, you hate uh no cap i feel yeah. like that'll just start up in like a year and a half <laughs> yeah. like they just start using it yeah yeah so really. like everywhere you go like they're quick to notice like new like swag that you're bringing out and they're like oh shit like <laughs> what is that it's like oh man like i'm not special Got i'm just heat. wearing the same nike jacket everybody else is wearing right now this season you know yeah but it did have like that like everybody showed love you know yeah nah they like they all want to just like talk to us and like <laughs> see who the like fuck we were and shit. Like right. as soon as I like walked in like the club in there, or, like wherever the fuck we were, like it was called like Diablos or some shit like that. Oh yeah. And like as soon as I walked in, the DJ's like giving me a shout out and shit. Like what the fuck? The only I'm like black guy there? probably, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Is that what it was essentially? <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably. I did not necessarily feel like a rock star, but I was just a chubby white kid. So. <laughs> <laughs> nah, good I, mean, times. Uh, fun. I don't know. That shit was like fun as fuck. Nah, we did because remember we went to that market. We were actually in Mexico we're like and Juarez. Old, yeah, <laughs> 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 but like we were like walked to that market. And we were wearing like I was wearing like football jerseys and like all the accessories and shit. And they were all staring at us. You said like they were like looking like they kept people kept like coming up to us. And I was stuff. wearing a school of hard knock shirt for like most of the trip. Jinko jeans. <laughs> some or some, some platinum fubu shorts. Fat farm jean <laughs> shorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but they saw that swag though. They were like, what is that? Like, Damn. That's some next season shit. <laughs> really? It's like last He's wearing season. Echo. <laughs> Echo. Yeah, hell yeah. You remember when they had uh, <laughs> that Madden? They had the uh, Echo team, and Mark yep. Echo was I a good team. On he had like one, I do one, remember that shit. One leg Echo did not up parlay the their hype into anything. <laughs> I know. Usually brands fall off, but kind of stay like somewhat yeah. in the game or something. Like there's people still buying some of their shit, and they nobody man. Their contribution yeah. was like the coldest Madden team of all time, because <laughs> everybody on there was 99 overall. Well, I mean, complex. You know what I'm saying? Some of the same people. True, true, true. Okay. Uh, 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 but I of that. I mean, probably because he went towards that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, oh fuck it. I could just talk about. I had fashion. some Master P shoes. Oh, for real? They were. I think they're made by either Converse or M One, but they were like green, like fucking suede or something. Like I don't know. Yeah. They're, they're tight. They're tight. Yeah, you is, remember the spree whales? Oh, with, with the, the spinning rims? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, them hoes were hard. British Knights. Yo, why, like, Puma and Fila are, like, making comebacks. All these athletes keep coming out of college and signing deals with them. The Puma basketball shoes look like they would be trash to play in, but... <laughs> just, like, yeah. constantly torn ankles and stuff? Yeah, well, they just look like old school, like... It's like people don't just hoop in, like, forces and shit, like, you know, yeah. they're not... They were they're they're tight, but they the technology wasn't there like it is now. You know what I mean? And that's like what the Pumas look like to me. They're just flat, <laughs> like <laughs> looks like yep. something you would like just chill or go ride a skateboard in, maybe. <laughs> like I don't know. yeah, Puma shit like definitely ain't never been 
attractive to be. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and that, even that is just like, uh, Pumas. Like, why do certain brands die out uh, like that? You know, like think about like Abercrombie, Hollister. I mean, with I'm glad those things. Are you know, like those died down. Like we're talking about. Uh, shit comes and goes, man. It's just yeah, yeah <laughs> right. Shit, well, I know that, but I'm saying like, <laughs> what do you think it is like? Like with the fila, but then all of a sudden, like, why is it coming back? Like, why is something like a fila coming back? It's just how anything, man. It just comes and goes. Shit's in a cycle. Maybe I, wor- I worry more about or I consider more like the why. <laughs> Y'all are like, nah, it just happens. <laughs> I mean, it's true. But yeah, I, mean, it's I like, get it's it. It's not just brands. It's like, like surprising. It's everything, like you know, like. You know, remember like, man, chicks used to wear low rise jeans and now yeah. it's like, 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 <laughs> ult- like ultra low was a thing and now like ultra high is a thing. I like the high waist. I love the high too, yeah. but like, I love the low at the time. Yeah. Like at the time, For like, real. did not think you could improve upon that. Like, baggy, tight. Like, I feel like people are starting to get baggier with the clothes again. Look. Not like real loose, but like I think we're starting to trend more towards that direction again. Oh right. yeah, because we had like the super tight, skinny jean tight. era for oh, a while, are, you know. Like, yeah, I'm a fan. I like being comfortable. Like for real, 100. You can eat more and shit. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to worry about loosening Fuck up it. a belt <laughs> like, notch. You have too big of a dinner. <laughs> I've always liked form fitting stuff. Like, like well, fish you like good. Yeah, like ever since uh, I guess I've been in shape. Like when I was fat, nah, it helps, it helps. But uh, I like more form fitting. But uh, I've never done like the snug as hell, skinny as hell jeans. Like, why did that come out? Like, why did? Why is that? What like the skinny, skinny jeans? Like, well, how is that? Like you said, there's no comfort to it. I still wear a I don't know. skinny, a skinny, a skinny I like trouser, snug, like slim, but like, slim. but no, not like the fucking like. You're in Fallout Boy, like <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean. <laughs> that's I never was down with that shit. Like <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's that where, like that shit. Like that's who was doing that shit. Like at first, like the I mean, like you know, Fallout like, Boy skater looking. It's cool for like, them or for anybody that chooses that. It just was yeah. never my thing. Like yeah, well, know? educate me. Not is knocking. What I'm, saying. I'm not yeah. knocking. Yeah. It. Yeah. I'm not either. I'm like, hey, just tell me the appeal. Like maybe there's something like. Oh, I can do a lot of. I'm very agile <laughs> with these pants. It's a style, like, man. It's a trend. It's just. Trying to be in your scene, be in your whatever, like, I don't know. You know, I, I like feel like I've never it. changed up my, like. Maybe you ride a bike and you don't want it to get caught in the period. chain. You know what I <laughs> mean? Like, I, I've never went through, like, phases of dressing different. That's true, that's true. I feel true. like that. Yeah. Just you have had, like, like a look forever. <laughs> Urban. <laughs> Urban. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it's like, it's like West Coast, like, uh, like, he always just wore, like, the kind of. Like, like I, dickies and shit, like, like, urban, yo, yeah, urban yeah, for real, like, like a like a relaxed, you know what I mean? Just like a plain blue crew neck. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> now nah, I know what you mean. I've uh, always liked solids. I've always been a fan of solids. Yeah, me too. I like a nice Henley. Henleys are cool from time to time. Yeah, I do like that. I think it depends on how big the neck is, though, because I don't like the ones that are already a wide neck and oh, you have no, the Henley no, no, thing. Yeah. Oh, one thing that I do not fuck with is. Those dudes are, uh, like, it was a thing, like, maybe, like, three years ago. Like, dudes be wearing shirts that have, like, swooping, like, they're, like, kind of, like, gown-looking, like, oh, they, like, like, they, like the, they're long. They like, look like they're, like, Indian dudes or something like that? At a slant? Or, like, the nah, extra long ones? Dip down, oh, like, no, you know, I know what you're talking about. Like, like, like the yeah. shit hangs down, like. It's like a blouse. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, this is the kind of pot we need Jock on. Because I feel like Jock, I have like, a take. He not, wears that kind of shit. For some people, can pull it off, but like, nah, it's a like certain, a tunic. It's like a super, yeah, yeah, yeah like the shit. Yeah. Like you basically don't like your whole entire like it drops down like two inches, three inches under your ass. Like just yeah, a shirt. Like <laughs> that's all shirts for me because I'm short. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I do have like a long torso, just like short legs. And I'm not talking about tall tees. This is tall an entire tees. Y'all miss tall tees. Tall tees are tight. Would you leave the sticker on? Huh? Nah. Not all the time. <laughs> if the sticker was on there already, like, pretty good, then, like, you know, maybe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it was, like, crumpled up in the What do you mean if it was on there too good? Like, nah, I mean, like, if it was, like, if the sticker was on there real nice, you know what fresh. I mean? Like, if it looked good. Like, yeah. Not like, like it was too hard to remove. You're like, oh, I won't yeah. mess with that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that, too, yeah. 
<laughs> Give a couple of washes before it loosens. Yo, it up. those days were the best in dressing, man. Because like you just wore just plain old tees yeah. every day. Yo, and they were like five dollars. <laughs> And like so, it was yeah. like nothing for your mom to get it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> like she was like, "Oh yeah. shit, twenty dollars? I'm gonna get like a hundred of these shits." You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? So you just got them fresh throughout the whole school year. I used to always get them at Foot Locker. Hell the champs. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> they had like the plain tees, like Hell three yeah, for twenty dude. or something like that. <laughs> three for twenty. I nah, always get like used to be like five for twenty, bro. Back in like. Oh one. Yeah, I used to get like the like I'd get like every color. I'd have like a long like a baggy baby blue t-shirt and then i'd have like forces like white ones with like baby blue laces in it yeah. and then i'd buy like a hat i was always all about matching all the shit so i'd buy like a different <laughs> shirt you know what i mean like match that shit like i had these uh like these brown adidas i guess they were technically skate shoes but like they look kind of like dressy adidas uh-huh. um but they had tan so i'd rock that with like <laughs> hey, a tan a t-shirt I never actually had G units. I, had, I didn't have the G units. I had the S dot Carters though. Oh, did oh, you? Yeah, shit. I had some S dots, nigga. <laughs> Yo, what were those shoes? Uh, lugs. No, <laughs> lugs. <laughs> I had some lugs at one point. You remember the and ones? <laughs> Hell I, yeah, man, it I was and ones, man. Slip it was on. Hard. But you remember the D A D A? The like. Da-da. Da-da. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Da-da. Da-da. Oh, that's Mike Da-da. Epps used to yeah. <laughs> wear that shit all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Next Friday. Hell yeah. yeah. I feel like that's some West Coast shit. Like, cause it was in uh, the wash a lot too. <laughs> like, I think it was also that time period, right? Like, 01 ish, 03. Everybody was wearing ankle socks. <laughs> yeah. Ankle socks. I know. I, I'm all the way up to my kneecaps now, socks. With white, with white forces. Yeah. White forces for sure. Hell yeah. Yo, like, how like, much did Nelly put on for the culture by dropping Air Force One? Bro. Like, was he it really him, like, though, that you think brought it back? Or was it just, no, like, good I mean, timing? It was it was perfect timing. It was I agree. perfect timing. Because that, that shit was, like, 01, right? Because, yeah, Cause I, I feel remember like they were kind of like, coming back. Like seventh grade, and that, right? like, sealed it. Yeah, that was exactly. Like, yeah, that was, like, the yeah. shit, man. Some white Air Force Ones. Though. Hey, and that Better put, like, the, white ones. the non-urban people up on the culture. It's, like, white girls know what Air Force Ones are now. Yo, no. You know yeah. what's weird? That's... When I worked at the shoot at uh, Foot Locker and shit, like uh, a year and a half, two years ago and shit, that was all that was buying white Air Force Ones. White yeah. girls. All that, that was the only fucking people that were, they were looking for them. Like, I was like, damn, this is like how we were in fucking 2001. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, I guess for them, it's kind of like, like a classier Chuck. Like something that'll just fit with anything. Nah, because like, they just hold them. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> like, <laughs> you got to keep your whites crispy, man, for like the longest, as long as you That's can. True. That's you true. know what I'm saying? Like, they just hold them. Yeah. That is true. But, I like, they hold their chucks, too. And, like, the vans, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, and yeah. everything. So. I just feel like I've White never seen a girl. girl. Do you ever see that's girls tight. with <gasps> creased forces, though? Ooh, that's, that's, what I, that's what they do. Yeah. Yeah. You think they do that like pigeon walk so they don't crease the toes? Or do they just not do stupid shit like we do where our toes be creasing no, them creasing all the time? Them. Nah, they be creasing them shits. Like, period. Like, maybe, these are, maybe these are just like chicks I don't hang around. I don't know. I ain't never Like, said, chicks that I always run around with a like quarter tank of gas. A long time. What? I said like the same kind of chicks that only ride around with a quarter tank of gas like at I all times. Said something oh, different. Shit. <laughs> Every time you get in the car, you're like, damn, you only got a quarter tank of gas, girl? Yeah. I thought you said something different. I feel like I like chicks right that don't take good gas. care of their whips. <laughs> Wait, what? It's a common thread. I what? can't. A, an immediate turn off for me. I remember there's one chick I met. I was already on the fence. This was like six years ago. And oh. uh, we were going back to her car. And she's like, oh, sorry. Let me create some space. Oh, Just like yeah. junk all in the front seat. Oh, yeah, I did right. that like, all right, well, I'll holler at you. Let me know when you get home. Like instead of like, what are you doing now? Yeah. I was like, all right, cool. All right, well, I'll see you later. I'm like, I can't do a messy car. I mean, what else? If it's all can't just take a bunch of, car. like, makeup and shit, then I'm cool with that. Or, like, you know, shit. Like, if it's, like, old food. <laughs> well, not that. See, that's different. See, I'm like, talking I mean, about, like, that, a bunch of papers, and I'm I like, you're just not working that. Yeah. I would definitely be turned off. Really? You know what I'm saying? I do, First of all, I do not like makeup. Like I, like, a, I don't. I, I don't like a lot well, of. This makeup, is a whole bro. different thing. I mean, what do you mean? Like a whole. I mean, this is. 
Let's yeah, get into it. Yeah, we're pivoting. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, what do you mean? It's a whole different thing. Well, because like some, you like you don't like makeup in cars because you don't like makeup on women. <laughs> yeah. But like you know. But I mean? if I seen that shit, I'm saying it'd be a definite <laughs> turn off for me. Like for real, like. I'd just be like, oh, man, yeah, I'm definitely out of here. Y'all ever had the sun visor on the passenger side? It's all stained up, different shades of makeup from different chicks. I've seen, That's like, the ones where they have, like, a bunch of, like, receipts or something, like, tucked under the <laughs> mirror yeah. clap, you yeah. know? Like, just shit, like, paper, like, nah, you know through movies, it. Like, throw the shit away. Keep what you need. Why are in movies are keys always in the sun visor? I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> I've never met anybody in real I life that never. just, like, Leaves put shit their open. keys in there like that. Nah. Just live their life like that. Like, it's also those cars, though, that don't have, like, the remote. Uh, but the cars never work either too It's always a truck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, The car broke down Somebody just said fuck it I'll put the keys up here I'm yeah. done with this shit All they do is punch the accelerator a couple times <laughs> And like, it starts up Bang it <laughs> Hey <laughs> Hey <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Yeah As soon as that nigga get like to the window You know Yeah what I'm And they never like immediately lock the door <laughs> They remember just close it uh, Yeah oh, that's, bro, that's one classic. of the best like Movies of like the last 20 years they fucked up that whole franchise, though. Like, they could have done so much with that. Yeah. That could have been, like, yeah. the annual Freddy Krueger flick, you know? But now it's like, they made a... I actually didn't think the sequel They're was all that bad. They're making a new grudge. That's lame. It's out. Yeah, it's, oh, it's like, out. Uh, it's out. That's lame. The preview looked kind of tight. I'd I see know. it. But why would you go see the grudge again? That shit, like, feel like you could just watch the one I don't know if I even saw with, the first one. So I mean... Geller. So why would so are you trying to watch the grudge like not knowing the plot? <laughs> like who cares if you know the plot? It's I don't the jump know the scares. Plot. Like I they're gonna know. change not, the jump scares. And if PG thirteen, not that I don't know. I don't know if I'm the new pretty one sure it was. is the original one. PG thirteen like ruined movies. Or the original American one was. Yeah, I don't know, man. We talked about that shit I might already. Give it a chance. <laughs> Huh? I might give it a chance. The gr- <laughs> right. I'll check it out. Hey, I like any scary movie though. I like just like shitty scary movies. I, I, you know, if I if I just got rich and I never had to worry about anything else, and like I just need to go get a job to pass the time, I'd go work back at the movies, just because I used to just watch like movies all day for no, the free. That was my first job. Hell Best yeah. job. Hell yeah, first but you job. would just not do any of the work and just go watch. Movies nah, what you would funny. do is you'd either show up like a few hours before your shift so you could watch a movie, or if you did like a morning shift, you'd watch a movie after your shift and go. Not all I the feel time. Like I can do that now. I can go work with Elwood, Hell yeah. It's like the same people still work there. It's so weird. <laughs> I swear to God. Like, damn, we man, you've been here 12 movie, years. You're like, Joker. Nah, I just came back. I saw, like, my old, like, manager. Like, I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, you still here? Like, and, like, the old, like, the big dude, like, around. His name's Mr. Farshi. That dude's like a mob boss. He's like a Middle Eastern mob boss, for real. I swear. Alan, what was your first job? That's the racket. My first Dude. job was Whataburger. That was, That's right? That's dope. Yeah, yeah. That Dennis, was, you even uh, know how to make a mean ass Whataburger, bro. I loved Whataburger so much, and then I worked there, and I hated it for. Actually, nah, I never stopped eating it. I, it I did you not like bit. that job though. It was like we get really busy. I would get like anxiety and just go chill in the walk-in cooler <laughs> till the rush was over. I'm looking for the yeah. meats. <laughs> like, Al, there's meat all in front of you. It was like right next to my high school, also. So like, I would like sometimes call in but then like still kind of end up there <laughs> like, yeah hell yeah <laughs> then be like this is weird <laughs> I would have food the time. I would just like I don't know just, yeah like be chilling be like oh, Yo, we had everything like, right there <laughs> I used to hate like that yes, where you like call into work yet somehow you end up back at or near work <laughs> yeah where you're like uh, I shouldn't be over here but like I'm not gonna see anybody you always see somebody. Yeah. I can go do. to this one place 300 times and not see a person one time. But the one day I don't want anybody to see me will be like, everybody sees you there. Yeah. I swear there was like one the time. the scene in Psycho. Yeah. There's a scene where I called in. Or the scene. There was a time I called in to work <laughs> and then I went to the gym and like I saw my boss there and he was just looking at me like, it's like, I, I just had to, you know, work it out. I feel like that was the best way to get unsick. Yeah. This really happened? Yeah, well, this was like six, seven, That's eight. funny Long shit. fucking time ago. But, uh, yeah, it was funny. He just kind of looked at me like... I could tell in his face was like, Hey, dickhead, don't <laughs> work out at the gym near where you work. If you're going to call in that day, on the off chance you see somebody you work with, you idiot. It's like what his face said. 
But uh, now that shit would happen too at the movies where I'd be like, hey, I you, I so my first job I also worked at the movies. I worked at AMC with Gary. Uh huh. And I remember they were like, all right, cool. So, you know, we're definitely gonna need you for the weekends. And I was like, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? And I was like, what? I was like, yeah, you know, my parents are divorced, so, like, weekends, you know, it's always, like, back and forth, so I really don't know, like, what consistency Why I have. Why you think you couldn't work on the weekends, bro? That shit was true, though. No, I just, I didn't want to work on the weekends. <laughs> so, like, yeah, you know, like, with my parents, I just don't really know, and they're like, uh, all right, and, like, I never had to work weekends, but I'd always show up on Friday, to, like, watch movies with my friends, <laughs> and I'd get them in free and shit, like, all right, yeah, hey, let's go check it out. Yeah. But, uh... Now, summertime was different. Summertime, you worked any and all hours. But, like, during the school year, I was like, nah. It would be cool, though. You'd have, like, a random Tuesday where you get out of school and then go work, like, 3 to 9 p.m. Yeah. I just like, that was a cool day. Make some easy money. $5 an hour. Yo. Y'all know. Yo, man, $5.50. It's like five twenty-five. Yeah. I mean, five fifty. I mean, shit, that was, like, Damn. minimum wage then, remember? But, like hey, but listen, I had a, I had a racket going. <laughs> I used to work the I worked floor and I was like the either the motherfuckers like sweeping up the shit or like uh you know what I'm saying like you work like the door or some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I like, I always like made it to where like I worked the door, you know, in the upstairs door. And people would park on the floor and come in on the floor, you know, like the yeah, top yeah, yeah. floor and shit. I would stop them, like I would try to get big groups and I'd be like, yo, five dollars a person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, I used to come out there made, bro, like every day, like 200 bucks, like straight up. Like, (laughs) had it like just going on. So like, and then. Chicks out here buying new shit. (laughs) (laughs) Your chick's fat, man. You working like 70 hours a week or something? (laughs) And then, nah, because half the time, like my social time, I spent up there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like at the time, you know, like. It's so weird, like how you did that shit. Like, movie movie theater was shit. like the scene, though. Huh? When we were in high school. Oh, the movies. I mean, nah, house yeah, parties. Middle school just for sure. Scene. Like middle school was. Oh yeah, was definitely lit. Well, that was where like you'd go on dates. You know, like, uh, hey, yeah. we're gonna go on a date. You just go to the movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which like man like. Fuck that. It was, it was weird. Now like yeah. Oh now because like, there's no like, talking. There's no talking like. This age and being like, yo, I just don't really know you or kick it with you yet. Right. Let's go to a movie. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Like, well, you don't do any you getting can't to talk know. at all. Like, well, it's not like, what are you going to get to know? hours with them and still don't know them anymore. <laughs> like, right. But when you're in middle school, like, what is there to know? That's true. Yeah. That's true. You can't just, just like, go to a bar or something. Hey, I, don't know. I, don't know. Hey, well, I like you. Let's go to the movies. Well, and then you true. leave. All right. Good movie. Bye. Or in high school too, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Maybe a like kiss. people would get dropped off by cabs, and then we go to the hookah bar. I mean, no, they would get dropped off by their parents and picked up by cabs to the hookah oh, bar. On you used to always tell me about this scene, bro. Like, the I hookah bar really was dope, nigga. That shit was so live. Which one was it? Do you remember where or when? It was like, uh, like it was what like, street corner. It was on like Hillcroft and Richmond. Richmond. Yeah. That shit was dope, like man. Parking lot party. Parking lot pimping like a motherfucker just be out there chilling. It's funny because that's like Smoking where all the hookah weed. bars are still. Huh? <laughs> like right yeah. over there. Like all those like. Oh, yeah. It's weird how I think like the Richmond scene will probably like never die. It's like always been there, you know, because it's like mad CD and shit. Too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. I feel it's like there's like some like sketch commerce going on in some, <laughs> shit, some form. <laughs> Yo, but there's that place, Shawarma King, over there. Still haven't been there. What Ooh. is Shawarma? It's like fajitas, basically, but like... Nah, it's like... It's, uh... I don't know, man. We need to pull that up. <laughs> pull basically, it up. like, a, what, like a mix pull between, like, up, a pita Jamie. and a fajita, kind of? Um, It's not really common with the fajitas, because fajitas are, like, chopped up, and, like, Shawarma is, like, sliced. <laughs> like, uh... And it's, like... Like, your own meat or the something? The meat is, like... It doesn't like it's like he's just like rich kind of steak and like Schwarmer's more like it's like I don't know it's like lamb I think usually or chicken like you can do beef but it's like th- thinly sliced and like yeah. it's just sauce so it tastes like kind of lighter. You taste more like the sauce. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The meat tastes a little lighter. Yeah, I feel like mm. it's like not a euro, but it's like yeah. I feel you. Know, like like shaved meat. Yeah, yeah. It's like a shaved meat. You thing. have to try it out. That shit sounds good as fuck, actually. Shawarma. Shawarma. 
Yeah, there's a ton of those kind of spots all up along uh, West Timer, Richmond. West Timer's crazy. What is crazy, this shit, like man. Mediterranean? Like that, that road is so, like, busy. Hmm? What's the shawarma? It's like Mediterranean? I believe so. All right. From the, how they just like lump all that shit together. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, that's ah, earth and yeah. you know, world. Um, but that is like that, like Mediterranean. I like more of like the Italian, maybe Greek, somewhat influence. You know, but there's like a wide span. Like that incorporates a lot of shit, you know? Yeah. But I do like like almonds and olive oil and like, you know. Shit like that, it's like Caribbean shit too. Like that's yeah. just like a wide range. Of like shit. I would Puerto say Rican shawarma is more Middle Eastern, Eastern than Mediterranean, man. right? We say shawarma is what? It's like more Middle Eastern than Mediterranean. Oh, it's right, Middle Eastern. Right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Z, that's another like lumpy place too. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. It, I mean, it's it's like a region. You know, it's like hey, Middle East. Like, why how is many it countries American is that? like that? Well, they call us the West, you know? But, I mean, like, I don't know. I was going to say, like, because Mexico and the United Canada. States are totally different places. And Canada. And Canada, like, totally right. different places, you know? I wonder, like, I've never been to Alaska, but, like, you would think that Alaska would have more, like, Canada vibes. But I feel like it's all by itself. Like, oh, Alaska no. is, like, its own. Like, I mean, how then Hawaii again, I mean, is? It's humongous, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, pretty isolated. Well, like, Alaska is almost as far away from where the majority of people in Canada live as, like, Canada is from Texas. Yeah. Because, like, something like 85% of all the people in Canada live, like, within, like, 100 miles of the U.S. border. Right. And Alaska is, like, way on the other, like, northwest Northwest, tip of Canada. Like, and Canada is, like, bigger than the United States, like, land-wise. Yeah. I do want to go to Alaska, though. It'd be tight. I think it'd be cool. I want to go like in the summertime. <laughs> I want to go summertime, so it's like twenty hours of daylight. I always hear stories. It'd be like ten p.m. People will be outside hanging out. Like the movie like Insomnia. Like <laughs> Basically, Al Pacino. I was in Alaska for real because they had like the blackout blinds because you couldn't fall asleep. Yeah, that was a weird movie. Yeah, had uh Patch Adams, uh, Robin Williams. Patch he was Adam. like, Patch I lost Adam. his name for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's Robin funny because to me, that's like the most obscure Robin Williams movie. But it's like, you know exactly who it is. Like, true, I guess Miss Doubtfire, maybe. But if I said Jumanji, you'd be like, true. Uh, Robin Williams, but like, I could be like modern and be talking about The Rock or Kevin Hart. Which, by the way, I don't really have any interest in that new Jumanji movie. I don't, no. I don't have I don't an interest Why do we in need the these? first one? I saw it. I think it was a. Uh, I don't think really saw it. I think it was an airplane you movie. Into the, to the, fucking what they want you to buy. Into. Nah, that's an ideal airplane movie. Jumanji. Jumanji? Yeah. Like you really don't have like, to pay not attention. Not the Robin Williams one. Why would you even pay for no, that? No, the new one. You don't. Oh, like the okay. ones that have like the free show. It's like, all right, I'm not gonna not like Captain Marvel. Great. Airplane movie. I didn't even listen to it. I put off watching it. Deadpool for like a year and a half, two years, until I saw it on like a flight to Europe. That's probably not a bad so I just wasn't movie. interested in it. But then I was like, this is all right. It's all yeah. right. It's very like, almost like too meta. Like, I get it. Like, yeah. you know, you're talking to yeah, screen. Yeah, exactly. Like, I was like, man, it's kind of like, you know, I don't know, not really challenging you know, it's like a perfect airplane movie, but like also not because it's like a disaster movie. Was that San Andreas movie? Really, any rock movie, any like modern Yo, rock all action like the movie. Same goddamn movie. Yeah, pretty much. Like he, he's gonna have some kind of. And why are they humor. wasting the rock like that? I know he's way more tough. Like if y'all ever watched the rock, like old wrestling promos. Yeah, man. Bro, I think it was like the best. Like, I like I like him, him personally. And Macho yeah. Man. They were like the best. Well, you know, it's weird. I mean, he's he's doing like the Hobbs and Shaw stuff and like Fast. I kind of low key want to see that. I'd watch it. I mean, it's like watching a, like a video game movie, you know. But it's weird that he never had much of a like. If you look at like Arnold, he had like Terminator, Predator, Commando, Last Action Hero, like all these action flicks. And then it ended, you know, like Last Action Hero is kind of like a meta satire in a way yeah. but he had then he just started doing like the what is it like the undercover kindergarten cop and like mm. twins he started getting kind of goofy the rock only ever really had like a goofy phase 
Yeah. Like he had Walking Tall and the like Rundown. Fast and Furious. Yeah, mm-hmm. Walking Tall and the Rundown. Like I, like I want to see him in something gritty. Yeah, I want to see him in something gritty. gritty. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like a rated R action flick with with uh, the Rock in it. You know? I wonder if I wanna maybe see like people just don't want to cast him as the that. Rock. And maybe he's not because gentle. Because that was the best bro. character he has ever had. The Rock. He's like Dwayne Johnson's not really that interesting, but the Rock. Well, you know that <laughs> dude. That guy is fucking like crazy, man. I you know, think this... he has ambitions for like more. You know, yeah, like, uh, obviously. And so he's been like, and you know, people. like kind of maybe even like politics. I think he's been yeah. like trying to. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I'd vote for that nigga. I feel like he yeah. would be. He would win too. I feel yeah. like he'd win a presidential race. The Rock and an Oprah ticket or Martha Stewart? Yay. No, Martha Stewart. Oh, can Martha Stewart mm. run? Because <laughs> she convicted. Oh, right. <laughs> nah, I, don't know. I, I, I do. Yo, see, like, you know, we're gonna rock. be eligible for 2024. Oh shit! What do you mean? Because we'll be 35. To run. We're going to be 35. Yo, I, I was win. thinking I about... Finesse. I was thinking about, like, making, like, a a reality show where you start campaigning right now. And so, like, if this shit, like, picked up by the time that, like, you know what I'm saying, in five years... Isn't that what you know we're recording years, right now? Huh? <laughs> Isn't that what we're recording right now? Oh, yeah. I guess so. <laughs> like, this could be the campaign. Yes, yeah, let's plant the seed, bro. <laughs> For real. It's going down. Now, I really do feel like The Rock could win a presidential election. But, like, he's, like, all friendly. I think I, I could win one now. So many, You know like, what we yeah, should do? You know, we all could do that. Speaking yeah. of getting The Rock playing himself, like, the best way to do that, and I feel like we're due for it, is if we did, like, a 90s nostalgia movie. Like, you're seeing some of it with, like, Captain Marvel and shit like that. But we're due for, like, a very on-the-nose 90s like, hey, like, I mean, think about it. This is, like, around when that 70s show came out, right? Like, 20 years ago? Like, yeah. relatively? The 90s was 30 years. Well, 1990 was 30 years ago, bro. That's what I'm saying. So, I feel like we're kind of due for, like, a 90s, I don't know, some kind of 90s nostalgia. Like, it would make sense to start to start coming back. Like, I could see him in some shitty comedy movie, like a scary movie. What are, like they, what are they reading at Home Alone? The 90s. They do it again with like modern day Macaulay Culkin. Nah. It's still him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, we left, Ke- we left Kevin alone. What are we gonna yeah. do? He's, He's just, just doing like doing acid. drugs and yeah. shit. He's not even trying to like <laughs> in like <laughs> have like a. Bro, he was never. He could have just down the fucking police the whole time. <laughs> I know. Like, I know. He's he like just not creative sick anymore. Sick ass kid. <laughs> It's a theory for like he, him like uh, growing up to be Jigsaw. Yo, you know like he had a one. band for a minute called Macaulay uh, Culkin. Huh? Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, yeah. It was. But he used to like he was on Bad with Michael Jackson. Oh shit! Or some <laughs> shit like that. Jam nah, he had like a band though. Like I saw it at South by Southwest one year. Like he did. Like it was called like Pizza or some shit. Like. <laughs> he would do some shit like that, and like his, you know, it's crazy. His uh, his little brother. In the Home Alone movies, it's like his cousin with the glasses. Mm-hmm. That's the same dude that's in like Succession, and he's been like a bunch of other movies. He was in. Um, I got to see what he came out. Of. He was in something that was pretty mainstream recently. The Pizza but, like, Underground. It's Pizza, Pizza Underground. Pizza Underground. That sounds like some shit from like N- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's like some screamo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Pop Smoke was the other original member. <laughs> Pop Smoke. Shout out Pop Smoke on the last play by ear. Not really, though. <laughs> <laughs> not, yeah, not really, though. We're not feeling him. Or Nav. Yo, <laughs> Nav, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, Nav, man. Chance, you had on the docket something about you hate to bring it up, but you always feel like you need to bring up uh, Lizzo. <laughs> Wait, I gotta look at it because I forgot. <laughs> I try to forget as much as I can about this, out, man. Like straight up, I really do not like. Ugh, like every time, oh yeah, okay. Now I do remember. Let me tell you guys about this. You know, I've never heard a Lizzo song. I Me mean, neither. Like yeah, I've yeah. never it's really heard one. Man, 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 oh, yeah. I've heard that, man, but I didn't know I don't it was even, her. Oh, no, I'm not, I don't, I don't even know. like. Yeah, I don't man. know the words. I, oh, yeah, so like, I just I don't I don't like the music. That's my Me neither, but. I feel like you think okay, she's remember an I, plant. I was talking about she's an industry plant, right? So she's an industry plant? <laughs> yeah, an industry plant. Like Tell me. It's like a real thing. You, we haven't talked about this. Like what do you mean like plants? like her like do you think they just manufacture her? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like because 
Like, all right. So I'm scrolling on YouTube, like just regular YouTube. But like her videos, her music videos are like ads. Like literally, I said I screenshotted that shit. Like <laughs> they're it, ads. Like they're ads on that shit. Like, oh, where the like fuck you mean it? like product placement? Huh? Like uh, or it's like flat out well, says it buy just Coke. Like, literally, it says like <laughs> Coca Cola. Like buy. I'll get Lizzo ads. Like I'll just get a bunch of Lizzo ads, bro. Like you get literally ads say for ad Lizzo? too. Like see that shit. Well, that means they're like promoting her content. That's weird. Who else do they do that for? A lot of anybody. Labels will be like, "Yo, the new album, get it." <laughs> that means like her mean, PR like, team is like doing a lot of ads, and they think because you're urban <laughs> <laughs> and from Houston that maybe you'll listen to her. You know, but nah, they click I don't that like it. Urban targeting button, <laughs> and they're like he fits into this just generalization. I've never got an urban or uh, urban. <laughs> urban. <laughs> uh, That's you weird. Fit into the urban demographic. <laughs> See, I don't like that shit. That's I mean, are you listening to Lizzo me. or what? Are you going on like Lizzo hate videos on YouTube? Uh, <laughs> nah, nah, because I'm trying to think of his digital thumbprint. Like, why is tracking him with Lizzo ads? It has to be just like based on the music you listen to. But I don't listen to like music like Lizzo. I don't know. I feel like maybe you do though. Nah. <laughs> There's got to be some kind of reason though. Like some kind of <laughs> you ch- you fit it's into some like, box they check. She's like, she's just popular right now. I don't know. And I'm cool. Look, I'm fine with like the, you know, I'm beautiful empowerment thing. Like, cool. That's good. I I don't like the music. Yeah. I'm like, I find it annoying. But I really don't like like modern day pop music anyway. It's not for us. Yeah. It's all, it's true. It's not for us. True. (laughs) But like, it seemed like it was more tolerable in the past. Like, Throw some Britney Spears toxic on. I oh. bob my head. Yeah, that's I bob my head. Yo, Fucking where were we? Genie uh, in the bottle oh, yeah. by Christina Aguilera. That should go hard. All too. the shit yeah. they were playing just at the bar earlier today. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit, I even like uh, some I some like forty one every now and again. <laughs> 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 I don't mind some alternative. I mean, but like pop nowadays. You were listening to Stained. <laughs> Stay. Stay here, yeah. It's been a while <laughs> since I could hold my head up high. I don't Damn. know. Just like Pop always extends to like weird shit now too. Though like he's not really in the forefront anymore. But like Flo Rida, mm-hmm. Flo Rida was definitely uh, Pop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the fact that he disappeared. Hey, that, I'm cool with that. Yeah, they were playing. A, yeah, that's right. No, whatever. Um, Flo Rida, they were playing that shit earlier, and I was like, "Yo, I forgot about this song." The apple bottom jeans and the boots. That was like the, the first fur. one. That was like the first one to really like put him on the map. But like, what was the other one he had? Like, the uh, Hangover one was like big for a while. Mm-hmm. You spin my head, whatever, round and oh. round, whatever. Wasn't that at the the credits in Hangover? Uh-oh. I I know what song you're talking about, but I really didn't like that right one. Right round. They had like that high pitch. Yeah, I I, I mean, feel I'm like you I like... would hear that shit. Of, like they they would play that at a lot of weddings. <laughs> weddings are like country bars where they go. Oh, now we're gonna play the urban music. <laughs> yeah, it's always Flow Rider. <laughs> Flow Rider or like uh, nah, Drunk in Love. Like they have like the top hits. Or we say Pitbull. Georgia, Florida Line. Or Pitbull. Whatever. County Line. George. What's like Delhi? Oh, uh, tell me about It's all in my head. I think of it over and over again. Yeah. Oh, I think she's leaving. <laughs> Why did he try that? <laughs> what made Nelly wake up one day and say, you know what? Country, country track. Nigga, because country grammar, nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, what if, like, you know, like. Country music and rap music really like the same shit. It's like a lot about family like values and like talking about like women, like their love and like you know like oh my family, my kids, my dog. I love my home and shit, home improvement. I'm going to go build a shed. Yeah. They don't talk about that shit in rap. <laughs> but they like, talk about like, like, like the, the family same, stuff. Like, it, it's just I like mean, different hustle, right? Yeah, like rap is talking more about like here's what I'm going to use my earned currency on. But I mean, like flossing, whereas like Country's more like, 
I'm gonna fix my fence this weekend. I don't know, man. Uh, I think a lot of country and rapper very similar because it's like, it's like talking about like a lot of the it's like love songs or like you know getting chicks like, but uh, like you know we're out to have a good time like tonight like yeah. I'm gonna get drunk like. You know what I mean? Like they're oh, all my they're, guys are rowdy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that. Like, <laughs> Jump up in the pickup truck. <laughs> hey, I talked about it on the stand up and I talked about it last pod, but like some of them go hard, like Copperhead Road. <laughs> I hear that shit, I'm like, okay, okay. I bob my head to it. No. Depending on how much I've been drinking, I might go out there and knock some dancing around. Stomp a little bit. Nah, not all country's bad. I mean, I grew up around it a lot. Like, just being in Texas, it's hard to stay away from yeah. it. I mean, even, like, nightlife now in our age, we can go to places that don't play that music. But, like, I don't. most public I don't places, in them places, like, if they're not playing, like, your Mix 96, like, Top 100 shit, they're playing, like, country. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, most businesses that you go to these days. So, it's hard to avoid, you know? But, like, uh-huh. some of it's pretty catchy. I mean, yeah. It's not my like I say, it's kind of not like my cup of tea. It's kind of like the same shit. It's just like they got weaker drums. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> doom, doom. It's all in my head. Who would be like the least surprising if you heard like some major rapper right now is coming up with like a country album? The least surprising. The least surprising. Probably like Drake. Travis Scott. <laughs> nah, I was Drake. Like, I say it had to be somebody country. You know what I'm saying? For like South, like a South rapper. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like if you had like somebody like from like New York doing a country album, I'd be like, what? Yeah, that'd be weird. A uh, young thug, I can see young thug. Drake would definitely shit. do like some. Like well, he kind of did that with the. Uh, I feel like more life was kind of heavy on like the Caribbean sounds to it. Yeah, he, I don't know why but he, he a swagger jacker though. Cause he'll just like take like kind of what's hot like at the time and just like you know uh, appropriate it for himself. Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure how I feel about Drake. He's I, got a lot I've of like. I never really liked him at all. The way I see Drake is basically like that's like my favorite pop artist. I'll say. Yeah. And I don't have like a lot of pop like music I listen to. I can't even say. But that. I'd consider like okay if I if I hear pop and some of his like. His mainstream songs I like. Yeah, I'm a sucker for he some of those. He has some, like, bangers, but it's, they're not really, like, I don't know. I feel like they don't hold up or something. Like, I like, don't know. like I'm never going to say, damn, like, I'm just going to listen to Drake today. <laughs> like, it's weird. Like, I don't like, know if I would just throw on, like, started from the bottom. Started. In, like, a non-ironic way right now. <laughs> yeah. Know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Like, that's, uh, and I feel like. I, I have. Know, like, I feel like people that like, but at the time, their go to, like, if they, the if you like, put on some music, they like, they go to is putting on Drake. I'm yeah. like, yo, like, you don't like what, like, you don't know music, like, <laughs> you, you know, know like. <laughs> well, I will say, I mean, if it's like they're playing their shit and they play Drake, I'm kind of like, huh, interesting. What does this tell me about you? But if they're like, oh, there's gonna be people over, I'm here to entertain, and they throw him on, I'm like, hey, he's one of the best pop artists around. Like, I get that move. Like, if you're trying to appeal to, like, a mass group, that's probably a safe uh, bet. You throwing on some Migos, like, it's going to be very, like, all right, half the crowd's going to be jumping around, uh, you know? Um, like, and they're pro- they're kind of popish to an extent, too. I mean, they're they're they're, the they're more hip-hop, bit, um, but, yeah. like, it's like, let me get a catchy beat and just say some cool shit, you know? Yeah. Say some clever shit. Sometimes I'm feeling that, though. I love Migos way more than Drake. No, nah, I know. I mean, I'm 100%. I, no question. I don't think any of us would disagree with you. But I'm saying, like, I like there's Drake songs on all my playlists. I just added them like years ago. You know? What oh, I mean? for sure. <laughs> and I skipped them now. Like, yeah. Yeah. But at the time, like, I was vibing it. Like, yeah, but I think it's just different. You know? Yeah, would like, like cleanse y'all's playlists you know all the time. time. If you I hear a song, it? I'm like, this really shouldn't. I'm be too lazy. Here. I'll, I'll, I'll notice them and. Just, not deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes like a whole separate from menu. a playlist. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll never, I, I never do that. Like, it's nothing I, I never want, used I, like, to. I never it's something I started doing probably in the last two years. 
Yeah. But like, like you know, curation is also about like, let me keep proper inventory. Like, I used to rock with this song, but nah, I'm cutting it out now. I just don't like it anymore. Cause you play songs out. There's some songs like when you first hear them, you love them, but then after a while, you're like, I just got like caught in the wave. You know, like the catchiness of the song got me, but it's really kind of how like do y'all feel about song. Little Yachty? Yeah. Yachty kind of got some bars. Love, love. I Bro, like Yachty, Yachty goes hard. I like Every Yachty. time I hear Yachty, I'm like, I should listen to more Yachty. Yeah, like, yeah. I Yachty feel the same. Up. Like, like I like how he went darker. Like, yeah. Huh? I like how he went darker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, shit. yeah, hundred percent. Yo, better quit talking shit about me. Basically, like every yeah. album now, everything he gets on. It is better to obviously be on that side of the coin of like, oh, I should listen to more of this guy than like, I really don't need to listen to any more of like Nav. Like y'all, like for Nav, like. Y'all don't have enough nav in your life. You don't really need any more nav. <laughs> but it's good being on the other side of like, man, I wish I had more of this artist in there. It was at one time where like the artists that were like new artists and people that were getting introduced like were the people that they were. Like it turned me off to rap. Like I literally stopped listening to rap for like a, a minute. What you mean? know what I'm saying? Like the shit that I would hear on like the curated playlist. You know what I'm saying? Because like I, don't I thought like I was those. on. I thought I was on because like they. They interchange, you know what I'm saying? And, like, that's yeah. only to, like, find, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, new songs. Yeah. They change, like, every yeah. other day, you know? Like, and if it's something that I like, I'll put it on another playlist. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's, like, for, like, the newer songs, you know what I'm saying? Like, that are kind of in that genre of, you know, like, turn up type shit. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, you know, however fucking rap is. I think and, with those is, like... <sighs> I feel like I only like maybe like thirty percent of the songs that'll come on. So I feel like I'm skipping a lot when I do like. Well, a yeah, top I, I do skip playlist. some of that. I, I don't leave that shit on. Like if I don't like the song, I skip it. But if I do like the song, it usually goes on a playlist. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's either one or the other. It's a good way to like find new artists all together too. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really. There are some songs I'm... now that I listen to, and I'm like, I don't even remember how I discovered this song, but I'm glad I did because I never would know. Like Jack Boys with you with Don Tolliver. Yeah, like, exactly. It's like what we're listening to, yeah. like the last hour yeah. as a result, you know? Yeah. No. But I mean, I it, it turned me off because I don't know. Like it was, it just seemed like all the, and I can't like pinpoint them right now. You know what I'm saying, like the artists or whatever, because. Some of them are like, you know, we don't have success. Some of them have it. But, like, at one point, I was just like, ugh. Like, you know, like, it's just too much of this shit. All these niggas whining and shit. I'm yeah, not going to lie. I was never I don't a big like the like... NBA young boy, like, the wave. I don't like yeah, every, yeah, yeah. everybody rapping like him. Sounds like, in, like, would you call that, like, an Instagram rapper? Because I feel like those are the ones that, like, their claim to fame was, like, they got popular on, like, really good time world star ads. <laughs> right? Well, like... <laughs> Like, oh, he's in, like, a lot of World Star funny videos, and, like, he's in, like, a lot of World Star, like, check out this artist. Like, I don't know. I don't want to. I feel like. I'm a, like, some of those dudes, though, that come out about, like, like as a result of that are, like, cool. Like, you yeah. Know, like, there's a lot of dudes that, like, start on SoundCloud or tight, but uh, I don't, yeah, like, the the whole like Playboy Carti like Playboy Carti kind of like I got I, I kind of fuck with, I mean this was like two years ago yeah shit, like yeah, oh, man, yeah. shit like I was kind of fucking with it you know what I'm saying yeah. like and I when I see Playboy Carti I know what I would get yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. so like right sometimes I don't I, you know what I'm saying I'll pass you know what I'm saying yeah you know what I mean because like. Like it's not really for me, but like yeah. I fuck with it, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, but you know, it'd be funny if you were one of those people like invest heavy stock, not like stock, but you know, like hey, watch this dude gonna blow up. If you felt that way about like designer, <laughs> <laughs> watch, watch y'all, designer gonna blow up, and then it's like, when's his next album come out? Like, oh man, I I'm ready, still working on it. Start a wave though. He did make it okay for you to sound like another nigga. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, he did like do that shit because like now you have like these niggas that sound like other niggas, but like yeah. they still got their own way. Who yeah. did he bite? Who'd you say huh? he was biting? Future, future. Yeah, he did sound like future. Yeah, that's true. That 100%. shows how much I remember his voice. But it's weird because I feel like early future didn't sound like that. Like, nah. like the, uh, like the. Uh, like Wala Magic, 
Mm-hmm. Like fucking uh like that era. Like, no, that nigga. Remember that song? Got racks on racks on racks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, know, he wrote yeah. that shit. Right? Well, yeah, like <laughs> that's fucking tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are the days. <laughs> um, future. Nah, but uh, I mean, F- Future bad times. I-, I love Future. Like that's that's a nigga that like, I can always get. In. Like, Fuck cause you yeah. never kind of know. Um, like future with the other hand you never kind of know what you're gonna get so yeah. you always kind of gotta give him a listen you I know like what I'm saying I feel like he always like in music videos he always has like an understated entrance <laughs> like they sneak him in in between scenes and you're like oh <laughs> shit future's in this I forgot about this and then he'll just come on and do like funny dance moves and like slide <coughs> off screen and then the next dude comes in like I swear to god like yeah. it's like he's like in and out <laughs> It's yeah, funny yeah, watching different move. artists and how they do music I think videos. I got like eight baby mamas or some shit like that. I feel like he's trying for like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's doing what I said I always wanted to do. Back in high school, I used to say that I wanted to have like a baby in every country. <laughs> that's a good you know goal. That's, that's only like 200 or some shit like that. Just have 200 children. You could yeah. do it. Uh, all around the world, every country, bro. Just imagine you like, you like a prophet then. Cause you bring the world together, like <laughs> they all brothers and sisters. You know, think about that. That's like that's a great fucking like they don't goal have to, to have. One day a year, they all meet up. <laughs> you think yeah, they, they have, have a like, conference? And shit? <laughs> well, you think that, but like the funny part is like right now, if, like let's country, say you could be one of those two hundred right now, and like. Nobody would know. Like, you're like also assuming like each of your kids would be known. You get a like, letter one day. They all get the same tattoo. Like everybody's <laughs> paying attention. It's like nobody's really paying attention. You just have like 200 kids that aren't getting covered. Like <laughs> like stretched very thin. They all got different stories about me too. Like their father, you know, like I'm like I have like a different occupation. Like every time, you know, like. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah. He came here. Uh, he was part of a group of. Uh, saw the lies I told him, mom. <laughs> you know? I'm here on a mission lies. trip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't well, know. Yeah, I come to do restoration on <laughs> the pyramids. <laughs> We're doing some carbon dating. <laughs> I'm in a carbon <laughs> dating. <laughs> like, what? No, nah, for real, though. That's You're like, for real. Since I was like. Since I was like yeah. fourteen, like that's always been like a thought of mine. You know, like you, you for real, I was like, man, inspiration. I, I, <laughs> you just you just come back to it every now and then, like man, I should like do I should do it, it. like for real. I think I should. Like this will be the time. You know, what I mean? <laughs> you gotta get started, man. I mean, for you're real. gonna be involved. I'm guessing. Like, are you just saying like you'd be like in and like I does it matter? <laughs> like I, I do. It. I think I'm doing the world a favor, regardless. <laughs> Bringing them together, like literally, <laughs> for real. But again, it's like it's, gonna come together, it's really dude. just like a Facebook group that they post in. Like <laughs> only like four of them are real active. Yeah, <laughs> the other people just yeah. I connected all these people. <laughs> I feel like you could just start like a really but good like podcast. Earth, though, it gets nigga. like, hey, just get like a globally renowned podcast or something like that. They could just have like they will all be like king, we'll just take over. They'll be kings and queens of the world they because I'm gonna work like together lineage, for the lineage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, like you. oh, you talk about your your they dad that works at their countries become <laughs> dictators. They go so two hundred from the same dad. What does he do? You go ah, uh, he works at Edwards again. <laughs> <laughs> I brought everybody together. This is special. <laughs> they all watch. They all fill one theater together. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like one of those corporate events. <laughs> you just getting all your kids together. Like are you are you so proud of your dad? <laughs> It's <laughs> like Edwards Usher. Man of the world. They just come in to sweep up after them. <laughs> you would hey, dress them before. And you just do that your whole life. And then when you're old, you just kind of like when you die, you just disappear. <laughs> like with nature. And you're like, oh, my job here is done. Like put in years at the movie theater, but you had all these kids. <laughs> I feel you. I feel those vibes. Nah, for real. I think I had to get like a Nobel Peace Prize for that shit, though. If I did. If you're trying to do what? It'd be possible. Like if I fathered so many kids from <laughs> all those countries. Were you going to be peaceful with them, though? <laughs> yeah, I would. How, would. how did this... What are the merits of Nobel Peace, though? Like you just like... If you have like 200, 200 kids, though, the chances are that one of them's like a little off or crazy or something. That's all right. There's going to be at least one just asshole. Among we them. got 0.5%. <laughs> right. 
you know, like at all <coughs> two hundred. Like that also one, means there's one, one that could be like a genius. Yeah, true, true. So that's why that's why I'm trying to do this. It's for like conservation, and all this shit. You know what I'm <laughs> conservation. <laughs> It is. Hell yeah. Hell I wanna yeah. I just wanna hear, you know, like your family side. And like, they can be you know, studied by science, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's gonna support these goals. I wanna hear their takes. Like, mom, you're gonna have two hundred grandkids. She'll love it, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm <laughs> pretty sure. Yeah. She goes two hundred and two, baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Points at Caden and Kale. We were gonna have Kale yeah. on. I don't know, man. I told y'all, man, that nigga's funny. Earlier I told y'all what he said. He was like so whose cheeks am I gonna clap tonight? I was like, "What the fuck, bro?" He's like ten. <laughs> he crazy. I think it's funny as fuck, though, bro. He be saying some funny shit. We gotta get him all up today. Kids are funny, man. Kids surprise you with some funny shit sometimes. Yeah. Hell yeah. You, it's it's weird to like see them come into like like you know, too. You know what I'm saying? They get their own personalities and shit, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, he is starting to just come out. I'm happy for him. It's about, about the right time, though. You know what I'm saying? Being like 10. That was like when, by the time we, we like all like linked up and shit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Our own crew. We were kind of all like like minded. and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's we used wild. To, we used to kick it after school because like parents was always late. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> like, yep. it's late. We used to kick it on this bench in this <laughs> little room right in front of the school. <laughs> Waiting for our mom to, my mom to pick us up or something like that. Like, you, you or know. my mom. Yeah. Yeah, but it was all like late moms. Mom. <laughs> Shout out to the moms. Moms. How many the moms do you think listen to this podcast? I don't know. If you're I'm a mom, like, shout at out. Least one. At at least. Let us know if, if you guys are moms. <laughs> I know some moms have the link. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just a matter of if they hit subscribe for or sure, not. For sure. Yo, you ever thought about like what if like the internet shut down? I think what if be the kind of shut just down? for a minute? Like no, like for like a day, like twelve hours. As long as you got like your, your Spotify off offline shit saved and downloaded. Nah, not even that. Not even that. Like not even that, bro. Like I old, mean, like at this point, like, say like shit will go back thirty years. Like it'd be like you know what I'm saying. At this point, it probably set everybody back substantially, at least initially. I mean, I'm sure there's like, are we talking about like hypothetically, like a generator wouldn't even work, like. No, 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 just the internet wouldn't work. <laughs> like, the internet, data, oh. and all kind of shit like that. Be a lot more manual, like, written shit out. Like, people looking for, like, old files and, like, shipping USBs people have to run, and shit. run checks and shit like that. People running floppy disks. Actually, this is all suck. Huh? Yeah, I don't know if I'd want this. Well, I mean, you yeah. can still go to, like, the ATM and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. My Alexa wouldn't work. My Hue lights. No, nah, I don't like Credit that. Credit card machines would still work. Like, everything that was, like... All right, I'm saying like the internet, like yeah, 25 years ago yeah, type yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like 95, God. like how it was then. You know? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna download this uh, this Jack Boys album. Maybe it'll download in three and a half days. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, that would suck. No nah. yeah, internet like that. Streaming, it'd be like it can only play That's like five seconds at a countries. time. I know. Yeah. Go there. Just <laughs> people are like, there. why are y'all You're visiting? It so be like, far. Yo, I smashed Yo. so many computers. You smashed computers, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With LimeWire. Oh, oh yeah. shit, man. What about Kazaa? Oh hell yeah, that was the shit too. <laughs> Morpheus, Napster, all them shits, man. Yo, like, I do remember that. Those were the first like real streaming services. Basically, yeah. yeah, and by concept, it's like shared, like sharing files, like file sharing. Remember, people had MP3 players that like weren't iPods. Yeah, yeah. I had like a disc. We we're laughing. A Zune. You had a Zune. Zune. Well, they also had. They started making it where you could burn instead of burning like audio files onto a CD. They were also MP3 capable. And you could fit, you know, like 300 songs on there because they yeah. could fit like a certain amount of data that like a disc reading MP3 player could read and play. And I remember once that came out, I was like, bro, 300 songs anytime I want. Yes. The first and now it's like, if I don't have thousands, I'm like, I don't have shit, you know? Like yeah. how much shit changes? Yeah. Uh, the first iPod I had was uh, like a regular ass iPod. Like the big thick one, 
You know, like the big white one with the wheel and shit. Those things were cool, man. It, it was, was like fun. I like the way they felt. They had like some weight to like, them. Oh, yeah, like, it was a yeah. fat one. Bro, I had all types. Like, just how like my like Apple Music is. Like, shit, like the library and shit, just like that. I bought it from my homeboy Adam. I bought it off of him for like 100 bucks, I think. Nice. It was a bit, bro. Had all kinds of shit, bro. All the jails. I used to have a lot like that, too. Um,. But like I don't know. That shit lasts like a I, long time. I can't too. imagine now, like just having like the additional libraries that can integrate with the ones that you used to have. Yeah. You know. But I remember I used to love that video one because it had like 32 gig. I could fit a ton of songs on there. But the wheel stopped working at one point. I yeah. could never get it working again. Like it could still hold and transfer files, but you can't do anything because the wheel didn't take it. Damn. Have to make sure that shit was on tragic. Shuffle. Had to. Yeah. At all times, shuffle. Yo, iPods was tight too, and like they should actually kind of still be around because like sometimes in your car, like you just want some shit. I mean, I guess like your Bluetooth, you know what I'm saying? Like you're always controlling your phone, you know what I mean? But like, it's not something just like you know, like it's just something you could just put yeah. in, you know, or just like even if they were Bluetooth, you know? Yeah. Like, I could still see that you know being a thing. Like it just like plays like either like your like your music apps, you know what I'm saying? It's just like a smaller little device, like that you can have. It's something you can keep in your car, you know. It's like Mad Mobile, but it probably need like a network and shit like that. When people have Wi-Fi in their car. My mom got Wi-Fi on her Cadillac. They say apparently like 5G technology that they're working on is gonna change the internet as we know it because it's gonna run on processors that are local then basically cloud like stream the like the processing isn't going to happen on our device we're basically going to have stream receptors receivers oh, wow. so like imagine like supercomputers doing all the processing yeah. and then just streaming you the result mm -hmm. like that's what they're saying like 5g could end up enabling so I don't that, know what be better. Sounds it'd be quicker, but I don't know. I mean, we say it would be better, but I mean, maybe that just makes our instant gratification need like that much more dependent, you know, like, fuck, I need sometimes something. Sometimes I just put my phone on do not disturb for like two days. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Sometimes really, just cut yeah. out, shut like up. just shut everything down. I'll just get anxiety from like just fucking having to text people back and shit. Like people you don't want to talk to. I do feel you on that. I hate like, like I don't like that you can just be reachable to people out of time. <laughs> expected. Yeah, I don't like, like people like, having access to me. So that's ever. what I'm saying with that. Like, how do you think people will react? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you think the world will react? Like, if phone calls, like, a lot more phone calls, a lot shut more down, like communication, like right. know, how we have it. People like, probably write letters and do phone calls. Internet, like, like it might be more meaningful conversation, but like business would be such a pro. It, it probably wouldn't. People would then just start like bitching about their problems via letter instead of Facebook posting like, "Can you believe <laughs> HOA this month told me I can't grow a tree here?" You know yeah, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Shit like that. Yeah, and like, they'd just be writing in letters or saying it on the phone. Yeah, rotary phones. You know, Yo, it's funny that like it's kind of not making a comeback, but like it's easier to use now, like QR codes. We know because we actually had listeners from Huntsville from our guerrilla marketing campaign. Yeah. But uh, now all you have to do is point your camera at it, and it'll basically open the link. Yeah. Oh, wow. so you don't have to like download picture. the Just app to it. read it and shit like that. So I'm almost like, I wonder if they'll come back now. But it's funny how like at the time people thought it was such a great idea and it just never worked out. Like, nah, I don't want to have to download a third party app that's gonna yeah. read this, you know? Well, um. I think it was the iPhone 4, maybe? That was, like, the first one that had, like, the... It on it was, like, a app that came with the phone, pretty much. Yeah. I think so. So, like, I mean, they've been around. But, yeah, it never caught on. Like, but I think that that's some, like... That should come back. I'm ready for that. It's easy for, like... It's funny, know, like... If you see, like, shit on the, you know, like, on the fly or whatever. Yeah, you don't have to type it. Phone. That's, it, it looked cool. It looks tight, right? Yeah. What's weird too is the tight. one that, like, the, the touch screen that folds in half. Yeah. That's some weird shit. I still don't know how they do that. I haven't seen one in person. I've seen plenty of commercials, but I haven't seen, like, any of those. Emily was playing with one one time. That shit's weird, man. For real? 
Because it's seamless, but it like bends in half. Oh. I don't know. Science. Science, man. Yeah, I can't wait for like flying cars. Like, could you imagine <laughs> just like sitting out here and like seeing like oh, shit? That, it may never happen though. I hope it doesn't. Neil no, deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, I ain't says never seen the Fifth Element. Too chaotic, yeah, I didn't think man. that was tight. Because well, they're saying the yeah. way that we, the way that you create propulsion like that is just like with jets. So you just have like. <laughs> like jet streams, like constantly, like you know. I, yeah, I just feel like it would. I would. It would be like a like a very annoying to live around or something. I don't yeah, know. people are just like driving their cars right next to yeah. your patio. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you think that they have the power to do that shit? That they no, just... they don't, because it's just basically like jet propulsion. Like you could create any sure kind of I mean, car, but like like you could but what create is this type that? of energy that we don't know even know about. I mean, maybe according to Bob Lazar, with all the gravity bending shit in yeah. Area Fifty One. According to him, you know, but who yeah, because yeah, what if you could just bend gravity? <laughs> what do I you mean? <laughs> yeah, whoa, dude. <laughs> no, nah, I mean that's. I think that that would be the only way that they'll ever eventually get to like interstellar travel or any kind of like dimensional shit. Like if that ever did exist, that's how I think they would be able to do it. But but that's hey. what I was saying, bro, about like Earth. Like we need to like travel to Earth first. You know, I mean, there's still so much uncharted territory. Like, where is that shit underwater? Fuck, oh, hey, I'm good. Ocean on that. floor, I'm yeah. Good on that. I'm fine, never discovering anything down there. Fuck that shit. Underwater shit is like not the. I know, not the business. Yo, what's well, like drain that? Sh- drain that shit though. Like drain the ocean. what? Drain the ocean. Yeah, <laughs> they go. Oh shit! What are they gonna we didn't think about how to bring they it back. I get a big somewhere. <laughs> they go a hey. tank in space. They go, hey man. They go, hey man. Let's we gotta get rid of all the water. <laughs> we gotta fill this shit back up. Get the hose. Get the hose. <laughs> get the hose. Come on. Well, shit. This is like coming off the hinges. So let's let's. Uh, Do you think so? I thought we were. Yeah. I think we were really getting into something. Nah, we're at the ninety minute mark. Close things down. Hey. Don't at me. This is episode 17. <laughs> Sticking with it. Alan. Hell yeah. More involved. I like this. <laughs> we like seeing here. this. Damn. He out I got you. microphones okay. now. We got Just multiple studio good. setups. Going to put out more content. I think we're going to do more IGTV after we did you know, some stand-up put on there. So keep your eye out for that on Instagram at The Rep Network. Of course, on Twitter at podcast at me. Make sure you show some love to play it by ear. The other podcast on the repertoire network. Many more to come. Chance, Alan, any parting words for our avid listeners? Happy New Year, motherfuckers. Yeah, happy New Year. Um, Shit. Keep listening. Happy New Year for sure. Happy New Year indeed. Y'all tune in next week. Peace. Bye. Hey, hold on real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Pause.